In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for SrCl of 2 plus K2SO4. This is strontium chloride and potassium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see I have two potassium atoms here, one here. I want to put a 2 in front of the KCl. Balances the potassiums, two chlorides. I have two chlorides here, strontium, those are balanced. Then I have a sulfate here and another one. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble. If you know your solubility rules, well, AQ for aqueous. Sulfates in general are soluble and potassium compounds very soluble. Again, aqueous, that's going to dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. Strontium sulfate, that's a bit of an exception. Let's look at the solubility rules real quick. So we find the sulfates, in general, sulfates are soluble. They'll dissolve in water. They'll be aqueous with some exceptions. And here is strontium. That's one of our exceptions. So we're going to put an S for strontium sulfate. It's going to be a solid. These will react. They'll form the solid. It'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So that's our strontium sulfate. And then potassium and chloride compounds, very soluble. Put an AQ after those. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Strontium is in group 2 on the periodic table. It'll have a 2 plus charge. And the chloride ion, that's 1 minus each one of these. So we'll have our SR2 plus, our strontium ion. I'll write the states later. Plus, we'll have 2 chloride ions, because we have the 2 here. Potassium group 1, so that'll be 1 plus each one of those in the whole sulfate, 2 minus. So two potassium ions, and then we have the sulfate ion. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. This SrSO4, that's our precipitate. We're not going to split that apart, so we're just going to keep that together. And then potassium was plus the chloride minus. We have two potassium ions, just like the reactants, and we have two of the chloride ions just like the reactants. So now that we have the complete ionic equation, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants here, I have two chloride ions right here. And in the products, I have those two chloride ions. I'm going to cross those out. Those are spectator ions. Two potassium ions in the reactants, and then again in the products. Spectator ions, we cross those out. And what's left is the net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus K2SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for strontium chloride plus potassium sulfate. You note the atoms, they're the same on both sides, so that's balanced. And charge is balanced too, 2 plus. 2 minus, that adds up to 0. And then in the products, this is neutral, so it has a net charge of 0 as well. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for SRCl2 plus K2SO4. Thanks for watching.